I'm a, I'm a fat boss. I'm a fat boss. I'm a, I'm a fat boss. I noticed you interview like a lot of fighters and you're, you're seem to be pretty involved with like, like fight promotions and jujitsu and stuff like that. How did you become? How did I get into that shit? Yeah. Um, wow, that's a long answer. It's very random, actually. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I tried to go, what I saw, I think the first one I went to was Jamie's fight, um, Prospect, mm-hmm. in Windsor. Mm hmm. And I did a little thing with him after the fight, mm-hmm. and then and then it kind of just snowballed from there. Oh, really? Yeah. But I talked to anybody. Really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, not just fighters. So. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> because I think, I don't remember when, but you started kind of like popping up on some of my stuff. Because I, oh, I, I was not stalking you. Don't worry. No, no, I but have I, time to stalk anybody. But no, but you you saw like uh, you started popping up, and then you because I don't remember exactly what it was, but then you started popping up all like all the time, like even before I started following you. Okay. You know what I mean? And I was like, oh shit. Sure. Who the fuck is this person? Yeah. Well, I'm Fallon. Scott. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I hope you like my shit, though. I'm. I guess so, because you're here. Yeah. Um, but I haven't seen you fight. Um, I guess you are going to. Eventually. I'm, t- I'm taking a little bit of a break right now. Like, I think after my last fight, I fought six times in like 17 months or something like that, which is Ooh, quite wow. a bit. So I think I just need some time to. That's a, a lot on the body, eh? Yeah. Just wait. Like preparing. Like, y- yeah. Not just the actual. Yeah. Acting. The fighting's easy. It's the training that really fucks you up. Yeah. Like, um. And your liver. Yeah. My liver. Well, <laughs> I'm I would not, think. Not that they're drinking. <laughs> no, but when, don't you, when you're cutting, don't you yeah. like to dehydrate Yeah. My, my last handful of fights have been 165 pounds though, which is like super lightweight. So I don't have to cut as much as like, you probably hear some of the other people cutting. Yeah. I was talking to. Every, all, all you guys are talking about fucking cutting. You sound like fucking women. I yeah. lose this weight. I'm fucking fat. And, yeah. If yeah. I was a dancer, you would have a pro. You would be concerned for me because I have an eating disorder. Probably. Yeah, you would. Yeah. See the double standard there. Yeah. Nobody fucking cares about you guys. Sure. <laughs> I care. <laughs> but anyway, I was. Um, I just wanted to take some time and get better. Healthier, like, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Just no, no. Like, I mean, like, get develop skills that I don't usually have a chance to do, sort of in training camp. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to wait up for a bigger fight. Like, I think um, I've got a good chance of getting signed to the UFC this year. Okay. We just haven't really found out what the dates they're coming to Canada in. So once we find that out, then we're gonna go, you know, full steam ahead for that. And then I think that if that doesn't work out, I'll fight again in June for BTC. Yeah, I'm going. Are you going this? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. This Saturday? It's Saturday, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll be there. Mm-hmm. So, um, this is the first time I ever get to go to one of the BTC shows and not, um, and just like enjoy it and watch the oh, fights. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, it is. I'm actually really looking forward yeah, to it. You must be looking forward to because it. Because I have a lot of friends and training partners that usually fight on the same cards as me and I never get to watch because I don't really want to concern myself with what they have going on while I'm in the back, like, you know, trying to focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then the one that was in Ottawa in August, I was on my honeymoon, so I couldn't be there. I couldn't watch. Oh, how was, was your honeymoon? Where were you? It was amazing. We went to uh, New Orleans. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, we went to New Orleans. We spent, like, five or six days there, and then we rented a car and drove to Memphis. And then we drove to Nashville for a couple of days. Oh wow, that and, sounds like uh, a dream for me. Yeah, yeah, and then we and then we drove from Nashville to the Outer Banks in North Carolina, and we had a beach house there for a week. Oh fuck, that's amazing. Yeah, it was a sweet trip. Yeah. How long in total was it? Two weeks. Two weeks. Oh, yeah. that's a good amount for a honeymoon, yeah. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it was a good trip. <laughs> <I> guess. <laughs> well, thank you for the coffee. You're welcome. Um, I mean, now you're welcome here anytime. If you're going to bring caffeine with yeah, you. Yeah, I know the way. You definitely know the way, man. You know the way. 
So, um, um, yeah, I'm very ignorant to f- when it comes to fighting. I don't know anything about fighting. Yep. I don't fight. Mm-hmm. I have no desire to. Um, but I really like watching. Um, my favorite part is the whole chess of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's once you get to a certain level, like if and you'll notice this too, like when you're going to like the uh, like the regional events that you're going to, is that you watch some of the guys that are earlier in the card that are less uh, sort of refined. Yeah, and those fights are often way more exciting because they kind of just throw caution to the wind and they go for it, right? They don't really have like a cerebral approach to it, just due to lack of experience, right? I didn't find that the first really fight that I went to the um, Jamie's fight. Yeah. Um, I found they were all pretty, um, except for the last fight with TJ. Yeah. Because when I saw him fight, I was like, "Oh fuck, I really want to talk to him." Yeah. Because yeah, that yeah. was a like that was the best fight. Yeah. Um, of the night, and everybody else was like, nothing was really happening. Everybody seemed kind of like. Yeah, I, I can see that. Like I've watched TJ fight a bunch, and I don't know him personally, but um, he's he's not going to waste a lot of energy he's not going to do a lot of stuff that he doesn't need to do in order to to like accomplish what he's doing he's a good fighter and he's not going to you know put himself in a shit position uh for nothing you know what i mean whereas some of those guys are just like fuck it bite down just start throwing bombs and they're they're in there they're in the pocket wasting a lot of energy missing a lot of shots yeah see that's not very entertaining for me i Mm -hmm. like i really like to see a fighter kind of fake somebody yeah. into a move to of that, course. that means that they have control of the situation of course yeah that is the part that i like yeah yeah once you get to like here's the thing this is something i explain to my students all the time is that once you kind of learn how to throw strikes and throw punches and kicks and stuff like that that's the easy part that's like the one that's like uh one percent of what you're trying to do once you get there you've got to start unlocking different levels of uh footwork and defense and stuff like that that's going to keep you safe but throwing punch and kick throwing punches and kicks is the easy part like you ever play rock em, sock em robots yeah so when when people start sparring or for people's like first fights for for me for example like i didn't really know what i was doing i was just going in there and it's like some just playing rock em, sock em robots i stand hoping in front you, of hoping you get some i stand in front of you and we're just gonna punch each other and then the first one to fall down you know what I mean? And those generally for the general public, those make the most entertaining fights because mm. a lot of the fans in MMA, I don't know if you've realized this yet, but they're not like, they're not like a fan of the art. They're a fan of like brain drama. That. Actually, you know what I mean? I they just, just want to be, they I was just, wanna... just talking about that with, um, this guy, Oliver. Mm-hmm. Um, that was the audio that I fucked up. Oliver Tazza. Yeah. 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 I was just actually talking about that with him because, the role, the role that I was sitting in, I was with a lot, predominantly females, mm-hmm. and I really wanted to go and watch, right, and to see that it's an art that mm-hmm. you and other fighters have worked really, really hard on and sacrificed a lot for, but then mm-hmm. they weren't really watching that. It was yeah. more like, oh, he's really hot and yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so I can see what what you mean by a, like the majority of people they're probably there for mm-hmm. other shit than yeah, yeah. Yeah. appreciating it, the art. Yeah, it's it's really interesting too when people first starting to like uh, come and train and they learn about the sport a little bit more and you realize how it's way more cerebral than people think. Um, and they, they have like an appreciation to every other facet of combat sports after that, right? Even if you just take a few boxing lessons, you're gonna have way more insight into the sport than just some average average guy would right or even like having a conversation with fighters and like having somebody explain to you what's what and Mm -hmm. and how it's supposed to look Uh, because you'll if you go into a bar or something like that to watch like a big fight on pay-per-view or or something you're gonna see people say like well why doesn't he just go in there and hit him why doesn't he just go knock him out like Mm -hmm. what is he doing standing there right and i kind of hate that when people talk like that like it's like well yeah yeah you think it's so easy to go do it fuck in there (laughs) Yeah, it's it's funny. And even like my wife it gets like pissed when she hears people talk like that now. She's like, dude, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You know what I mean? And she doesn't really you Does know she what like I mean? to watch? Uh she yeah, she'll watch with me. She'll watch my fights and stuff like that, but she's not like uh you know, going out on her own and watching and doing it. Yeah. Yeah. How does she feel watching you fight? Uh she's getting way better. She's pretty it, I know it used to be really I think it's still pretty stressful for her. But um, she has, like, a way more confidence in me now. 
I know it's kind of weird to say, but it's not like the, uh, you know, she, she expects me to win, which is kind of Is nice. that a lot of pressure? No. Okay. It's just a nice, no, it's nice support. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Kind of expecting you mm-hmm. to win and support, not mm-hmm. you better think, fucking win. Yeah, I think to start she was like, "Oh, I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen." But now she goes out there and she just wants me to, you know, perform and do your best. Yeah, focus. Yeah. Do you? So you recently got married. I got married in August. Yeah. How long were you guys together before you got married? Uh, just like six years. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, do you find? Having a partner, kind of, do you, how do I put this? Is it hard to balance that, like staying focused and having a relationship? Not really. Like, it really depends on who you're with. I think it plays a big part, like, if they're really supportive. My wife was a competitive figure skater growing up, so she was okay, so she, she was involved the... in the training sports, so she really understands, right? Okay, that's important. Like, there's never a time where she's asking me to uh, take time away from training. Okay. And it's, like, what I do for a living, too. So, like, you, you'll you hear people, like, um, you know, they, they're not showing up to the gym or they're not showing up to practice because their their family life's getting in the way, but just because it's how, like, we make our money, mm-hmm. it's... it's uh, it's it's never a question right like you got we got to work right so yeah yeah i just i don't know i find most people once they enter a relationship they start losing themselves 100 percent. yeah start Mm -hmm. losing the things that that they find where they find their passion yeah and i think that's like how a relationship goes downhill 100 percent. you don't want to like I think it's important to like have like a sense of yourself as an individual Definitely. in a relationship and like have separate experiences that are like meaningful to you. Yeah. Because that's how you came together. Yeah. You were both individuals first yeah, yeah, yeah. and to find that balance. It's so fucking tricky to find that balance of, of a, a unit, mm-hmm. but then also keep your individuality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a fine line. Yeah. So how do you do that? Well, I don't know. Like, I think I've, I've got like a pretty supportive wife. So that, that helps big time. Um, f- for me, I started dating when she was really young. So I wanted to make oh, sure that you brainwashed her basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I wanted to make sure that she had lots of time for like you her, get them young. For, for her own experiences. You know what I mean? Because yeah, it's important for her to like have her own path. You know what I mean? Yes. And she's she's not all women are like that. Yeah, yeah, but she's definitely doing that. I can't speak for I can't speak for all women, but she's definitely like following her heart and doing what she she wants. And it's sometimes sometimes really tough. But if we can be there for each other, then it's gonna be it's gonna be okay. And um, but you see it all the time where people get into relationships and like the things that are important to them take a back seat to like yes. what's not even what's important, but what like it takes a back seat to what's convenient. You know what I'm saying? It's easier. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Because even with me and my wife, like we, we are kind of like almost like it's, it feels like sometimes we're like morphing into the same person just by like osmosis well, happens, from being together. Right? So you long. become one, you become one yeah. flesh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's, I don't know. I think it's important to have, you know, we obviously have goals as a couple and things like that, but it's important to have, you know, separate career goals and separate personal goals yeah. that we can help each other with. You know what I mean? Definitely. Support or not help each other. each other with. Yeah. but Sometimes you need to do shit on your own. Absolutely. Where nobody is helping you. I get that. I get a lot of guys who want to help me yeah. with my career. I'm yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing just fine. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. Or they use that as a way to like, of course, get in there. Yeah. yeah. Same with women, lesbians. Yeah. I am not a lesbian. Do people think you're a lesbian? Yeah. Cause look of, at this. Because the short hair. Look at this. Yeah. Is that, doesn't this look like a fucking dyke? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think my wife would look cute with a shaved head. Yeah. She doesn't think so, but I think so. Well, does she have a nice head though? I, I don't know. I've never seen it. You never know. <laughs> Could be a flat head at the back there. <laughs> yeah. That ain't so pretty. <laughs> Especially when she's going down on you. <laughs> yeah, that's a big fucking watch. Thanks. That was not a compliment. 
<laughs> yes. What's up with true. men and their big ass watches? It's not that big. I've seen bigger. You know what? I have seen bigger too. Yeah. Ridiculously bigger. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't that bother you? No. This is a this is a gift from the the gym that I coach at. A Christmas oh, okay. gift. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I think it's really nice. It it's is not, nice. It's, it's nice. not like it's just big. Yeah, but it's not. I don't think it's obnoxious. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. A I have a couple that are a little bit more. Yeah. Chill. Flashy. No, 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 no. This is by far the flashiest watch I have. Okay. I'm not a watch guy though, so this is like this is a, more than enough. Yeah, I don't. Re I don't like to have a lot of. I don't like to have things on me. Yeah, yeah. This is this is it and this ring. That's mm -hmm. it. So this was my mother's ring. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, I'm not a big jewelry guy either, but I like the watch. Yeah, I have uh, friends who. Have some pretty oh, so do I. nice watches, like oh, expensive oh. watches too, like ridiculous ones where it's like yeah, especially in the music industry. Yeah. Fuck man. Yeah. People have some big fucking watches. Yeah. And they don't even look at it. They look at the yeah. phone. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's a class thing, right? A statement. I well, I mean, I think it looks good. It looks cool. But that has meaning behind yeah. it. Yeah. There is it came from your gym. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't is think it like um anniversary kind of thing christmas gift oh christmas gift yeah. yeah you said that so what else do you do honestly like i train every day i coach like for a living um so i coach mma like various combat sports i run the uh muay thai program at the burlington training center okay and i run a lot of clientele out of there as well um and that's pretty much it. I I'm, I need to get like more hobbies. I think. Why? Because I feel like it's I'm so consumed by fighting all the time. Mm -hmm. that, but uh, maybe right now that's just where you're at. Yeah, yeah. I definitely feel. But I, I'm I'm also looking for something else to do. Like I I need to find something like a different activity to take my. Does anything else interest you or spark? Yeah. Eh, like, I try to like golf in the summertime Whoa, or in the springtime. Yeah, but I'm not like super into it. I enjoy. Well, you got to watch for it. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I try that. Uh, like other sports, I, I like, like the play. driving range. Yeah. Not necessarily golf. Yeah. But I can see how people could like like golf because it's you know you're talking, mm -hmm. and you're hanging around, having some drinks and shit yeah. like that. I honestly will like go golf by myself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's nice to be alone sometimes. Yeah, I think I do that too much. Every activity I do is by myself. Really? Yeah. I like to run. Yeah. I like to go floating. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, most things are not with people. Yeah. Yeah, I run too, but that falls under training. But I do like, honestly, you know what? Sometimes like I'll run... Sometimes I'll listen to music. Sometimes I won't listen to music. But it's like really one of the only times where I'm like actually really alone. Isn't it you know? nice? Yeah. With your do, you ever, do you ever run on like trails or anything like that? Fuck, of course. Yeah, I, I run down my lake. Good. That's like my favorite thing to do. Why am I going to run in the city? I hate running yeah, in yeah. the fucking city. Yeah. Oh, like I don't. No, I, I have to run by the water. I yeah. I love running by the water. I won't run in a, on a treadmill unless I like absolutely have to. I hate treadmills. It's torture. My trainer, Emma. Mm. Fuck. She's got this new thing she's doing with me where like she we're running on the fucking treadmill and she speeds it up and then I do squats and then I, and then she speeds it up more and then I do more squats. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, it's kind of fun Yeah. to see how fast I can go. Yeah. But I wouldn't like, I wouldn't try to run. Well, I wouldn't try to run for distance on a treadmill. It's too boring. Well, running for me is more of like a therapy. Mm -hmm. So I have to be outside. Yeah, it feels good. And it's a good way to be outdoors for me. Mm -hmm. What yeah. about um, that gay thing, um, paddleboarding? <laughs> no, actually, I have um, I have a cottage in Northern Ontario, and we have a paddleboard, but I don't use it, like really use it. See, that to me would be beautiful. You just eat some shrooms, yeah. go out on the water as the sun's coming up. Yeah. 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 I have a, a moment. kayak a little bit. That's pretty fun. I prefer Those that. Those things over. scare me. Okay. So I have an issue with water, first of all. Yeah. Um, probably because I'm half African and, you know, negative bone density and shit yeah, like yeah. that. But kayaks, kayaks the one that you slip into, right? Yeah. And you can go upside down. 
Ah, uh, you could. I wouldn't See, that's the it. fucking thing that I'm scared of. It's yeah. flipping over and not being able to flip myself back. You, you'll have way more stability in a kayak than you will on a paddleboard. Do you think you could paddleboard out on the lake here? Yeah. Really? Well, then you could kayak for sure. If you can keep your balance on a paddleboard, the kayak would be nothing for you. Hmm. I just don't like the fact that I'm in it. Yeah. Can you get out really quickly? Yeah, yeah. Unless, you, like, so there's these kayaks that, like, almost, like, seal you in. Yeah, that's the thing I'm fucking No, about. When you no, go no, no. white... Yeah, and that that they they do that so the water can't get into the kayak as well. But if you're just going on the lake or something like that, like you can just have one that's open. Like mm. so, if you tip, you'll just slip out and then you'll flip it over and I don't know, like swim <laughs> somewhere to get back. Do they here. have those inflatable ones where you can like on a backpack? Yeah, yeah, oh, mm. that's pretty cool. Mm. Mm. Oh, I also like to go horseback riding. Do you go horseback riding? No, no, mm. I have before. Yeah, I love horses. Who doesn't? Some people don't. Really? Yeah. No, There's I... this horse over by um, Trail Trailbrook Ranch in mm. Milton. His name is Leo. Mm. And he's just the funniest horse ever. He mm. loves to lead. He's got to be in the front of everybody. Um, but then he'll just take his time. Mm -hmm. It's just everybody's got to follow him. It's the best horse. Yeah. Yeah, I've been horseback riding before. It's cool. That it is. You ever played like polo or anything like that? No. That'd be a trip. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be afraid of falling off and getting a concussion. <laughs> so what else you want to talk about? Any and everything. Yeah. Your water bottle's pretty fucking cool there. Half formal or half water bottle. Yeah. I want it. You can probably get you one. Yeah? Yeah. I'd use that. But it, like you were saying, when you use it, they have water. Probably the places that you no, would use that. No, it's not that. the water. It's the roller. Oh, right. They would have a roller. Because I have a roller in my house. I have a roller. I'm trying to think like of where I would gym. use that. Well, I mean, say you were just hanging out. Do you have a foam roller in here? No. Do you foam roll? Yeah. Okay, well, that's perfect for you. Have one here, have a drink. Especially, like, on oh, this side. Yeah. My fucking sciatic. Really? Over there. Fuck, it's so tight. Really? You have problems with sciatic? Yeah. Oh. All the way down to my toe. No, that's no good. It's no good. I end up, like, punching. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, like dead so, leg? Yeah, it feels so good. Yeah. No, well, the foam roll will help you out with that. But this thing's pretty cool. So I'm definitely not foam rolling in the studio. Look at this fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> Ground's dirty. I've got to clean. So you're a fighter and you're married and you've got kids on the way? Or you have a kid? Uh, no, not yet. Eventually. Eventually, yeah. Hmm. Well, you seem like a very well-rounded man. Thank you. Was that a compliment? <laughs> that was a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I can give compliments. I give compliments all the time. Me too. So you go dancing? Not really. What makes you think I go dancing? I'm just asking. Okay, I make music. <laughs> I know. No, not really. Yeah. I should. I should dance more. It's good for the soul. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Sex, drugs, rock and roll. It's all good for the soul. What kind of music do you play? I don't know what you would call it. I'm, I've been calling it like hip hop reggae. Yeah. I guess. I don't fucking know. Yeah. That's right. How long have you been a musician for? Mm, most of my life. Really? Yeah. Very cool. Are you from Toronto? I am from Toronto. Yeah. I'm from Jane and Finch. Oh, shit. Mm. That's rough. Not really. You don't think so? No, compared to South Africa? That's it's a true. walk in the park. Yeah, that's true. I've been to South Africa. Oh, where? Uh, Johannesburg and like uh, Pretoria and some of the northern part. I didn't go to uh, Cape Town. Do you know anything about John Dunn? No. Uh, he's my great great grandfather and he was uh, the chief of the Zulu Nation. Oh, no way. Sorry, chief advisor. Oh, cool. Of the Zulu Nation. Yeah. Interesting. 
-hmm. How did your family make it to Canada? Uh, my dad came here uh, because of apartheid. Okay, yeah. Got out of apartheid. Interesting. Yeah. And he he uh, like landed in Toronto. Yeah. Huh? Well, first he went to the UK. And then okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, I think like I was like 2013, and me and my best friend we flew to Johannesburg. Just randomly. Not for anything in particular? No, we just wanted to take a trip. I'd always obviously wanted to be uh, go to Africa. I love animals. Mm -hmm. So we rented a car and we kind of... That's pretty extreme. I love animals, so I'm going to go to Africa. Well, I mean, I like to travel as well. So we, we rented a car. We drove sort of around to some of the parks in uh, northern South Africa. And then we went... Did you go on your own or did you go with a guide? On our own. But we drove up through Botswana to like the tip of Botswana into Zimbabwe and then back down into yes. South Africa. Into South Africa, yeah. Did um did you go to Swaziland? No. Well, you didn't miss much. There's nothing there. Really? So I, I kind of had to make a choice just based on our time frame to either because like South Africa, there's a lot to see and do, right? So I had to either make a choice about going from Johannesburg south to like the Cape and then yeah. back up or go the North way. And we chose the North way. Well, either way, it's beautiful. Yeah. It was an incredible trip. It was so cool. There's something about South Africa or Africa yeah. the smells there and the, the sun and it's just, yeah. I don't know, it feels like home. Yeah. Yeah. It was an amazing trip. You plan to go back? I mean, eventually. Yeah. There's lots of places I want to go. Mm -hmm. Like where? Um, I've, ne I've never, list. I've never been to Europe, for example. What? Yeah, I've never. You have been... never been to Europe. No, no, I've never traveled Whoa. in Europe. So I've been like. Did you what stopover did you do to get to South Africa? Did you oh, okay, fight? Germany. So I've been, I've been in technically. Okay, yeah, but just I've never, the airport. Yeah, I've never traveled never, okay. to Europe, which is kind of strange. Like I've been all over the world, but I've never actually taken the time to look at anything. No, travel to Europe oh, specifically. Okay. Mm. But um, Africa, I've been to Southeast Asia, I've been to China, um, all over Central America, South America, USA, Canada. Yeah. Do you have a traveling itch or is it kind of done? Um, I wouldn't say that it's done, but um, definitely in, in more recent years, like I've had a desire to kind of see my own country a little bit more because I think prior to... Like I've never, I've never been to Vancouver, for example. I've Me been, either. I've never been to Vancouver. Yeah, I've been out east. I've been to like a bunch of places in Alberta, but never more west than that. I want to go north. Yeah. I want to go and swim with the beluga whales. Yeah, that'd be cool. I fought in um, uh, Yellowknife. Oh yeah. So that's How was that? It was cool. Was it was, it was like a fight country? trip, so you don't really get a chance to see too too much. But I mean, like it's it's pretty interesting to be there. Like the you know, it's one of the more northernmost cities that you can drive to, at least. Yeah, because past that, there's helicopter or plane or something. Yeah, right? plane. I guess. Yeah. yeah. There's like indigenous communities that you have to fly into. Yeah. That are only accessible by plane. Yeah. But it was neat. It was a neat trip. Yeah, I don't really have that traveling itch anymore. Yeah. I traveled a lot. And I think I'm more into experiences. Cool. Where's the coolest place you've ever traveled to? I don't know. Everything, everyone, every place is so different. Yeah. And for, and I, for different reasons. I mean, South Africa, that's my family. Yeah. So that was, but, um, I like Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, there's something about Jamaica that, like, I stay at my friend, um, Basie, his name's Anthony Hibbert, and he's, um, he's an engineer as well, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> he, there's, he lives up in the top of the hills, and it's just, man, in the morning, it's just amazing to like sleep in a studio in Jamaica, on the top of the hills, where like you wake up and it's just music. People are already in the studio working, mm. and you go out and you know nothing's fancy. Yeah. Everything is fucking shit, 
but yeah. it's like the most comfortable you can be. I don't do good with fancy. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need all that shit. No. And I just, I love the morning. You just sit on the stoop, like this concrete stoop and I watch the birds fly and mm. have a spliff and yeah. tea. Yeah. I like that. I like places like that. Yeah. Although Cuba was nice. I met, um, this guy on a horse and I went horseback riding and then we ended up at his mother's house mm. and his grandmother made me this amazing coffee. Oh, cool. So yeah, every place I've been to is like different cool experiences. Nice. I'm going to Cuba next month. So if there's anything you could recommend doing. Yes. Bring, um, lots of toiletries to give away. Okay. Um, like kid stuff, like diapers and toothpaste, stuff mm-hmm. like that to give away. Cool. I would suggest that. Oh, that's what I do. Usually when I go, whatever I bring, I just leave it there. Yeah. Whatever I pack. Like I just leave my suitcase. Okay. Well. Where about are you going? Um, K.O. Santa Maria, I think. It's like an island. K.O. Coco? No, no. I think it's like sort of like the same archipelago, but it's a different island. I don't know what. Yeah, no. I'm not sure but I'm not going with names. But, um... Yeah, I'm, my wife is like pretty content to like lay on the beach and, and read and just enjoy the sand and the sun and stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm eventually going to get stir crazy. So if there's anything that I can kind of, uh, any activities that I can do or places to see, I'm all ears. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's tons of shit to do. I, I mean, I like to get off of the resort Yeah. and like fucking talk to people. Yeah. That's the best thing to do. Cause then you'll actually enjoy yourself Yeah. rather than. Staying in a fucking hotel full of Canadians. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to having like a, a break and just relaxing a little bit, but... I, I was actually just thinking about that this morning. Yeah. Like, I kind of need a break. Yeah. I'm not one for a vacation. Yeah. And I hate saying that I need a break. Yeah. Because it means I'm tired. Yeah. But I feel like it. Yeah, you can't redline it all the time, though, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes you need a little, a little R&R. Fuck, yeah. A couple of days I've been going, like, 24 hours. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going there next month. And then uh, probably after that, just right back into training camp just for, for potential fights in June, I think. Hmm. Is that frustrating, potential fights? No, not really. Preparing because I, I, know, I know if, like... Um, I don't get like the bigger fights that I want. I'll I, I'll I'll fight for BTC again. I'm their super lightweight champion, so I'll defend my belt in June, for sure. And that's not a bad position to be in. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely coming to that one. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't go to all of them. Yeah. But um, yeah. Check check out your your shit and see how you do. Thank you. Yeah. Hopefully. You'll be entertained. I'm sure I will. Yeah. Uh, is there anybody you're looking forward to watching this weekend? Um, I'm trying to remember who is on this one. Uh, the main event is um, Jesse Ronson, who's like one of the. He's been one of the top Canadian fighters for years. He's fighting a guy named uh, Troy Lampson, who's from Detroit, or he's from Michigan at some place, some place in Michigan. But he's like super experienced. Had some had some big fights, so it's a it's a really high level main event. It'll be a really good fight. Okay, well, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah. I don't know them, mm-hmm. but and if you say it's good, yeah. I'm looking forward and then to uh, a couple of my buddies are fighting on that card, so you have to look out for Adam Asenza. Okay. Awesome fighter, Siri Saidi. Awesome fighter, and uh, Kyron Cameron, also a sick fighter. Okay. Those are my training partners, so I'm just gonna give them a quick shout out. Good. It's always mm-hmm. good to do that. Mm-hmm. Spread the love. Mm-hmm. I'm all about spreading the love. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm always looking forward to seeing some blood. Yes. I'm a, I'm a fat boss. I'm a fat boss. I'm a, I'm a fat boss.